There's two monkeypox vaccines. One is called AKM2000, which is a version of the vaccine used to eradicate smallpox decades ago. Now, it's likely to be effective against monkeypox, but it also has harsh side effects, including the potential for heart problems, and it can be fatal in people with certain conditions. So it especially should not be used in people with a weakened immune system and also certain skin conditions like eczema or during pregnancy. Never a good thing when the medicine or vaccine ends up being worse than the actual disease. Thankfully, there is another monkeypox vaccine that is safe and effective. It's made by a small company in Denmark that goes by the name of Bavarian Nordic. Now this vaccine, the modified Vaccinia Ancara vaccine or MVA, it also goes by the name Geneos in the United States, Invanax in the European Union, and Invimmune in Canada. Geneos was developed in Denmark with the help of the United States. This vaccine is made from a highly attenuated, non-replicating vaccinia virus. It's very safe even in immunocompromised people and those with skin disorders. The problem, it's in limited supply controlled by the federal government. About 2 million doses are expected to be shipped to the United States by the end of the year and 5 million more for the rest of the world. Now, so far, the vaccine has only been offered to mainly two groups of people, specific healthcare or laboratory workers who might handle infected samples and people who've had a confirmed or suspected monkeypox exposure. And unlike other vaccines, this vaccine can work even if given after someone is exposed. Up to two weeks after an exposure to help reduce the symptoms, but a vaccination more than four days after an exposure is not necessarily going to prevent the disease, but it might help with the symptoms. Now, people are considered fully vaccinated about two weeks after their second shot of Geneos and four weeks after receiving AKM 2000. Now, with that said, you'd still need to take all the preventative measures for a few weeks after getting vaccinated. The CDC says that Geneos monkeypox vaccine is being made available for children through special expanded use protocols. The CDC also estimates that more than 1.5 million people are eligible for the monkeypox vaccine, with 30% of that group being in New York City. As of the recording of this video, the U.S. government has distributed 300,000 vaccines to U.S. states and territories, and New York City has received enough vaccine to provide at least one dose to about half of its eligible population, while Washington, D.C. has enough to provide one dose to 70% of its eligible population. Eligibility right now depends on where you live. For example, in New York City, people are eligible to be vaccinated for monkeypox if they know that they were exposed to the virus or if they suspect that they were exposed because they had multiple sexual partners or were at an event where monkeypox is known to have spread. But in Dallas, Texas, where cases are much lower, they require exposure to someone with actual confirmed infection. There's this ongoing debate among scientists regarding the necessity of getting two shots. The CDC and the FDA have said that people need both doses to fully prevent disease. But we know that even one shot provides most and possibly, possibly all of the necessary immunity. But when you throw in the fact that supply of vaccine isn't anywhere close to meeting demand, it makes sense to give out a first shot to as many people as possible even before second doses are available. But especially when you know that the second doses will be on their way, even if it's not available until after that four-week mark. But back to the question, does a single dose of the Geneos vaccine provide adequate immunization? There's some strong evidence from studies done on monkeys and humans, which suggests that a single dose provides solid protection in that the second dose mainly serves to extend the durability of protection. Studies have shown that immune responses triggered by a single shot of Geneos vaccine declines after two years, which is why the approved vaccine schedule calls for a second shot. And most virologists and immunologists agree that it makes sense that giving a single dose in an emergency setting is reasonable. In a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2019, they compared immune responses in people given either Geneos or AKM2000. With smallpox virus, levels of neutralizing antibodies are seen as a key indicator of protection, so that same idea applies to the monkeypox virus. The researchers found that after 14 days after a single dose, the levels of antibodies that neutralize monkeypox peaked with MVA, Geneos, at essentially the same level that was triggered by AKM2000. So with how fast this monkeypox virus is spreading and with the limited amount of vaccine available, it absolutely makes sense to just go ahead and give that one dose of Geneos vaccine. That's going to be all for this video. If you want more updates on monkeypox, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on the next one.